Welcome back. In the previous part, we got a sworn affidavit. So let's take it to the detention center and maybe we'll get some answers out of April, May, June, July. Right, so let's let's talk to her. Ah, that man. About that man who stayed with you in your hotel room. You tell me about him. Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. Moida. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm. Would you have solid? Would, what, would you have solid? <laughs> would you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. See? Damn. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Yeah, this is like, um, court, court record. Where's the affidavit? There we go. So we'll go with that. Can I not? Wait, can I not throw that out? At this point? All right, then. Oh, oh it's present, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, there's the answer to my question right there. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. It was most definitely this guy. Indeed. Now I'm getting somewhere. Yes. Push her hard. That's... Hmm... Like based on her attitude, I think push her hard is better than ease her fears if you want to get to the bottom of this, because it's like... It, it doesn't seem like she's fearful, it, it feels like she's angry, so it's like we need to get to the more angry, that sort of thing. I think things of like bad cop, good cop, all, all these like interrogation techniques, that sort of thing. I've seen Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder. Your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. Yes. You, you win, lawyer. Yes. Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Oh, maybe don't do that. <coughs> I have that reaction when I need to do a cough. Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White. Red White? Alright. The president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Okay. Red. White. Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. Oh. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. Wright himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is lo located? Oh. Mr. Red White, at last. Finally a lead on this guy. If April, May, June, July couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit discarded. Oh, could have used that. I mean, you know. Okay, so, 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 nope, nothing there. Okay, let's move then. So off we go to Blue Corp. Oh, there's a familiar picture there, isn't there? That's very suspicious. September 7th, Blue Corp Incorporate, CEO's office. Triple dot. What's with this surreal decor? Welcome, please furnish me with your title of personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? I was just inquirably, inquirably, okay, asking the title that you go by. Uh, right, Phoenix right. Inquirably. Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see, right, right. What? Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant-esque... What? Vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. Like, how are you doing that with your teeth? Very strange. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the wordly challenge. What a fruitcake. 
Mm -hmm. Let me guess. You're an attorney, fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have of a man such as myself? You know, it's this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Okay, let's, let's talk to him here. Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she had done. What, what she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. Uh, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. Can I see her job description? Surely you have one. She does gather information for us as a part, a part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Alright, the night of the murder. On the night of the murder, were you in April, May, June, July's hotel room? Who can say I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place? My motto is, don't worry, be happy. That's not even, that doesn't make sense, mate. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why did the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April, May, June, July. Oh, ho, ho. the police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Yeah, dick. Blue Corp. What kind of company is Blue Corp, anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. Sell information. In just 10 years, I built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. Oh, really? That's hard to figure out. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? It's not. That painting, anyway. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes? What might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. So I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before, and it was disappearing in the last location as well. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple, uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Who have nothing, silch, zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney. Grotty burger. What? Mm. Oof. Uh, he, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Yes. Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. I wonder, is that kind of control even possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. What? I came here from Grody Burgers. Grody Burgers? I presume? Mr. Grossbergs. Grossbergs. It'll be Grossbergs, won't it? Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. 
Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. I'm presented with something. He's probably going to say no, but... May as well. Would you be kind enough to cease your inane chattering and vacate the premises? Let me put it in language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out. I have nothing more to say. Right, he's not going to do anything there. Right, so let's go to... Grossberg. Grossberg. Law offices. It's triple dot. Triple dot. Triple dot. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should uh, clear my throat? Ahem. Jumping Josephus. What? What was that? Uh, oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, I have not seen her yet. <laughs> what? What? Who are you again? I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Alright, so let's talk to him then. Today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just... My sister, uh, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. So it's clearly like you were meant to actually be her lawyer, but you were pressured into not being by Mr. White. That's what I'm suspecting here. Alright, so your refusal. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. All right, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Indeed, Mr. White. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out of it, my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day. Was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office of Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed... I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Um, he's blackmailing you. Your lovers. I guess that could be a possibility, but I doubt it. Because how would that relate to the painting? So it's more likely he's blackmailing. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. It's maybe the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you are Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was the choice of Steins Gate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. Name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I cannot stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. And that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owes, owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. We need something, something we can do. The uh, reason for blackmail. Go with this instant first. 
What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Fay? Indeed. She was Maya's mother. He had been investigating her murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. Is this what Maya was talking about the other day? I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of her uh, uh, wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Uh -huh, so White's going to be the one who did it. Reason for blackmail? But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it. And he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see... White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. And if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Maya's office. Maya's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Alright, okay. So we don't need to really to do anything there, so let's, let's go back to the office. It's funny. Look in this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Right, examine it then. The plant, of course. Mia's favorite potted plant. Guess I'll have to water it now. That's what you take away from that? All right. The sky is blue. And so am I. There's that hotel. Right across the way. All right then. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that... Made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Possibly. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Yeah. All these cases the Chief ever worked on are filed here. Uh, they're in alphabetical order. Uh, let's take a look. Which file should I look at? A to I. Let's see if there's an A record in this file that catches my eye. A, B, F. Misty Fay. That's me and Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? Read it. I have tarnished the Fay name. If only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family... I held an audience with the dead. What? Alright then. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm? The record stops there. It's Mr. White. It's not hard to figure out. So, Mia knew Grossberg. Yes, there's other things we can look at. All the cases the chief ever worked on. Blah, 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 Let's see. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of these. Skim. Yeah. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. Biggest parts here at the end in S. Suicide? Ooh. There's a collection of suicide reports. Politicians, policemen, maybe they'll be connected because maybe they killed themselves rather than succumb to the blackmail, etc. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. You see, I, I knew that would be a thing. White drove them all to. I can use these newspaper clippings. 
Let's find the most disturbing one. What? All right then. Newspaper clipping added to the court report. Okay, article about a politician's suicide. The word white is written in pencil at the top. Okay, I still want to check the other one though. Like, like, like I know it's ticked, but just to be sure, there may be something like extra or something like that. T, um, I don't know, W, white. The entire W section is missing. Ah, ha, ha. Was it taken? See, that's, that could be relevant. I could figure that out. Okay, so what we got now then? Anything else? Doesn't seem like it have. So let's move. Where, oh, where can we go now though? So maybe back to the law offices, maybe? I feel like I need a drink. My throat is going dry. Let's present. Yeah, it's going very, very dry. Give me a second. If you watched the Zelda before this, by the way, you know when I had that that cough and I made the cut? That that was basically like, what, like 40, 50 minutes ago for me? So it's like, I'm assuming it's that that's done that. But anyway, let's present. Present. Do I not have anything here? Probably go with the newspaper clipping then. I found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red White as I expected. Or it could just be some dude Grossberg's voice that could do it. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Anything else, though? Hmm. I don't know if that would be relevant. Don't rent the right or anything. I don't know if like, some of these things is like, I don't know if they're worth bringing up right now. It's just like maybe back to the detention center. Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. Okay, so no, I don't want to examine. Oh, can I examine anything here? May as well. The guard monitors the visitors' room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Almost like he's a picture. Camera, I assume. Smile for the camera. So it was worth having a look. The chair? No? Okay. Right, so anywhere else? Let's um go back to we'll go to the hotel first, then we'll head back to Blue Court. Might be an idea. Hmm, the bellboy seems to be out. Huh? Sound of water coming from the shower. La di da. Money making, money making, I got the money making blues. I'm not singing it. Someone seems to enjoy washing the showers. Um, let's examine anything here. I think there's. Oh. The screwdriver is still stuck in the drawer. I better not touch it. No telling what the bellboy would do to me. This got ticked now. Bottle and two glasses rest on the table. I'd better not touch them. No telling what the bellboy would do to me. Nice weather again today. I can see the Fay and Co. law offices, of course. Hmm. So I'm assuming we've got everything ticked now, haven't we? Yeah, okay. So there's only one more place I can think of going. Blue Cop? Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Still. Alright, so Ms. May. I think we're past needing to talk about April May. I've got to put this guy on the spot and quick. Hmm? What's the matter? You seem... distressed. Alright then, so night in the murder. This guy is a pro at pulling the wool over people's eyes. Got to put him on the spot and quick. Stop that! The hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. Blackmail. There's no point in asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence I can use as ammo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Why, yes. There's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. But of course I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It's okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. Right. So let's present him with the suicide thing, yeah? This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? 
It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this connects me how, concerns me how. I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labelled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You're blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You are threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You are involved in all of the suicide cases that Mir investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? Phoenix right. What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is that you should be doing now? Uh, investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Beep. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Rong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April, May, June, July tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? Me a fake case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? You said you didn't want to go to court. Quatitude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer man. What? Mr. White. This isn't another one of those, Chief Prosecutor. I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me. Correct. I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Rong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, but Harry Butts. Right, actually. Phoenix, right. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Uh, Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe. I present you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Ah, crap. Right, so we will end this part here because this is probably a very, very good place to end this part. So we'll see you in the next part when we try and get out of this mess. Ta-ta for now.